Hello, I pray that you are well today. I welcome you to the third day of the prayer challenge to pray yourself empty, to pray for four people in your life, those who are lonely, those who are hurting, those who are prodigal, and those who are in possible situations. And I encourage you to consider this question. Have you ever come to the end of yourself? In other words, you don't have enough insight or wisdom or information or knowledge to know what to do next. You don't have enough energy or strength or stamina to keep going in the same level. You don't have enough joy or grace or patience or kindness to act right in those situations. You ever come to the end of yourself? And in the middle of coming to the end of yourself, you are encouraged to pray and you say, I can't pray. I can't pray because I have no energy. I, I find a great scripture in Romans chapter eight. It's this language, verse 26, Romans eight twenty-six. in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes through us, for us, through wordless groans. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. If anything is true about this season of time, we've come to the edge of ourself, the end of ourself. Some people, the end of our rope, things are frayed. But the Spirit helps us in our weakness, in our lack, in our scarcity, in our non-abundance. We don't know what to pray for. We don't exactly even know what to do or what happens next or what to do next. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us, steps in for us through wordless groans. Have you ever just had a circumstance of your life where you didn't know what to pray? You didn't know the words to say it hits you with a level of anxiety or fear or being overwhelmed. You were overwhelmed with how overwhelmed you were. But here's the promise of God. Even in our weakness, even when we don't know what to pray for or how to pray, the Spirit intercedes for us. The Spirit steps in. Because in Psalm, excuse me, in Philippians rather, chapter 4 and verse 6, it uses this language. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6, 6 and 7. I've said it to you before. Do not be anxious about anything. What are you anxious about today? Whatever that is, God says you don't have to be anxious about it. But in every situation, new, old, painful, unexpected, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. God says we can give to him when we can't ourselves. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I, the third prayer challenge is to recognize, to recognize that you might not be enough, like I'm not enough, but God is enough. When you come to the end of yourself, he's there. When you come to the end of the, your rope, he's holding you. When you don't know how to pray as you ought, he steps in. The spirit intercedes with groans too deep for words. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. This is good news. I want you to think about how much energy you have Maybe today you got 30%. God only expects 30%. Maybe today you have 110%. No matter how much energy you have, God himself is stronger than your weakness and mine. I want you to think about. I want you to think about your weakness and his strength. I want you to think about him intervening for you. And I want you to think about that he says to you, do not be anxious about anything. Let's pray. Dear God, we give you thanks. We honor you today. We take time to honor you today and thank you.
that in the midst of our lack, you have abundance. In the midst of our scarcity, you have overabundance. That you are able to do far more than we ask or think, and you have done so. We come before you today, and we find ourselves at the end of our rope, the end of our intellect, the end of our ability, the end of our energy, the end. And you are the one who gives us grace. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.